Hello, welcome to another unboxing. This time it's the Flare X RAM for Ryzen. Or compatible with Ryzen. I should bloody hope so. Designed for AMD Ryzen platforms. Now I've gone for the fastest one they do, and I've gone for 2 by 8 gigs. Because I think that might be the fastest way to do it, is to have one of the uh, memory dividers working with eight in each. I think if you go above it, it starts slowing down, but who will know what will happen with all the software updates? It's a very, very new platform. I don't think the motherboard manufacturers have had very long to get the grips to it, so things will be changing fairly rapidly. But I don't trust a lot of the RAM. I don't want to buy some RAM and then get to the moment where I turn the computer on and find the RAM's not working properly. So I've, I've opted to go for this. I really wanted some LED RAM but I thought I'd go for this to play safe. And this was £209 on Amazon. It dropped slightly, so I got it for £199. That's quite a lot. So I've seen the Vengeance for about £125 for the, the same speed. So I think they might be cashing in a bit on this, but I want something that's going to work. So, G-Skill Flare X Series DD4 memory is designed for maximum compatibility and performance with the latest AMD Ryzen processors. Equipped with an aggressive andonized aluminium heat spreader design, Flare X is the perfect choice for a variety of applications, ranging from simple memory upgrades to building your dream gaming rig, or a high-performance workstation PC using high-performance IC screened, especially for the AMD platform. Each Flare X memory kit is tested under G-Skill's rigorous testing processes, to ensure the best reliability and stability in your system. All G-Skill memory products come with a limited lifetime warranty and the G-Skill technical team is always ready to provide complete technical support via online forums, telephone and email. Well, that sounds pretty good. Uh, it's going to be another brief unboxing. So let's see what we get. That's the card I've just read. You do get a nice shiny sticker. Give that to focus. Yeah, nice shiny sticker, metallic. It'd be nice if they had some LEDs in, wouldn't it? Well, it'd be interesting to see the height how it affects things but uh, oh yeah of course on AMD the uh, RAM's to one side you haven't got the same problems as with the Pentium where the RAM sits right next to the uh, the cooler usually so there we are not much else to say about that I'll give you the timings that are written on here it says 14 14 14 34 1.35 volts PC4 Two five six hundred eight gigs times two Intel XMP2 ready. So there we are. So it will also work with Intel's, of course. It's all got the N XMP. I wonder if they've got the AMD equivalent in these. I hope they have. Make for an easy overclock. And of course, you realize, I, th I think you probably do realize that the RAM doesn't actually run at 3200 until you overclock it. That goes for them all. I think you have to tell them to be faster than stock on your motherboard. They don't just simply run faster. Well, there we are. So two memory sticks. There they are. Flare X. That looked quite nice. But I'd rather have had red though, to be honest, so it stood out on the motherboard and there's quite a bit of red LED sort of stuff going on if you like. And it doesn't seem like there's any LEDs in it, and for that price I would have, I would have hoped it had the Starship Enterprise on the top of it going around, but there we are. I had to play safe. They seem quite expensive, at 200 odd pounds. And that's only 16 gigs, two lots of eight. So I've got 32 running in my old one, so um, it may not be enough, but it... It may slow down if you put more in, but then again, that could change with software updates. It's all up in the air at the moment. I'll, I'll just report back if anyone's interested, if you want to drop me a question when I've built my computer to see what the main differences are. But there's going to be a, quite a few more unboxing videos and construction videos coming up. So that's all on this one. Thanks for watching. See you next time. <laughs>